Model Exponential Growth of Population The population of a small town appears to be increasing exponentially. Town planners need to model for predicting the future population. In 1980, the population was 35,000 and in 1990, the population was 57,010. Create an algebraic model for town's population growth. What is the growth rate of the town? After how long will the population double? So let's see how to solve these kinds of questions. Rather, how to model an exponential growth of population. Now what we're given here is that in 1980, the population was 35,000. Let us take this as the initial population. So we'll write P initial, that is P0, starting with 35,000. So this will be, let us say, consider this to be at t equals to 0, where time t is starting from 1980. So as the time goes by, let's say 1990, it t will be 10, 1990 minus 1980. That is how it is going to be, right? Now we're given population 1990 to be equal to 57010. So we'll call this population as P10, right? So we'll say P of 10, that is, let's write P10, population after 10 years is 57010, right? That is what it is. So we are given these values. Now, since the population is exponentially growing, we, since it is also given here, right, increasing exponentially, right, therefore we have a model which will be exponential model to represent this situation. So what we can say is that let us the growth factor of this population be, let us say, b. In that case, we can represent this in a form of equation, general equation, saying p of t, population at any instance of time, is equal to initial population times b, where b is the growth factor to the power of t. Now in this equation, we don't know what growth factor is. To find growth factor, we can utilize the values given to us. So what is given to us is initial population P0 and population after 10 years, which is 1990, right? So that should help us to find the value of B, right? So let's substitute those values and then find what B or growth factor is. So P of T is 57010. P0 is 35,000, B is not known to us, and T is after 10 years. Now from here, we can find B as equal to, so this gives us the value of B as equal to 57 over 10 divided by 35,000 to 10th root, right? 10th root. So that should give us the value of B, right? So let's use calculator to figure this answer. So we have 57 over 10 divided by 35,000 exponent 1 10th, right? That is equal to 1.0499, right? So this we can write down as B equals to 1.0499, so which we can round to 1.05. So 1.05 is a growth factor, the value of B. And now we can write down our equation from here, which is P of T is equals to initial population of 35,000 and B is 1.05 to the power of t. So that is the model which should represent this given scenario, correct? It's an exponential growth and the growth factor is 1.05. Part B of this question is, what is the growth rate of the town? Now growth rate and growth factor are two different things. Growth factor is something which you are always multiplying by for an exponential function. And growth rate is like 1 plus what? Do you see that? So growth factor and growth rate are related like this. Growth factor equals to 1 plus growth rate. 
in case of decay it becomes decay factor and one minus decay rate right so in our case we have 1.05 correct so what we can do is 1.05 is equals to 1 plus 0 0.05 right so this factor here is the growth rate right so r the growth rate is 0 0.05 which in person could be write, written as 5%. Do you see that? So either you can write a growth rate of 0 0.05 or better to write in person. So we say it is R, the growth rate is 5%, which is 0 0.05. Okay. Part C is after how long will the population will double? Now doubling of the population means that from 35,000 it becomes 75,000, right? So we can start with this equation as P of T equals to 75,000 equals to 35,000, right? Times B, which we know is 1.05 to the power of T, and we need to find what T is, correct? To find T, we can divide this. This, of course, we know 2, right? So we have 2 equals to 1.05 to the power of t. Now at this stage what we can do is we can get approximate value of t by assuming some values so that we can calculate what is 1.05 to the power of that value and come closer to t. That is one way of doing it. The other way is to use logarithms, right? So let me show you with the help of log how to find t from here, right? So with the help of log t equals to log of 2 divided by log of 1.05, right? So that is a direct answer. Now let's find this answer, log of 2 divided by log of 1.05. So we have log 2 divided by log 1.05. That is equal to 14.2. So after how long will the population double? So it is after 14.2 years, right? Since it is in years. Now, that means what? 14.2 really means that we started with 1980, right? So, 1980 plus what? So, 1980 is the year starting, plus 14. That gives us equals to 1994, right? So, after 1994, it will, so you can say after 1994, it is going to double, right? say after 1994. So the answer, answer is after 1994 right? when it is going to double. So that is how we can answer these questions. Thank you.